Hey everyone, my name's Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden. If you're new here, I am so excited that you're here. I am a mama to four kiddos and we are deep in the throes of summer and loving every second of it. This week, it's a little bit crazy because it's VBS week at our church. I go to a rather large church, so there are over 700 kids and it is just a lot of fun, but also a lot of work. Um, and so we are leaving early in the morning and getting back in the afternoons and kind of crashing just slightly. And because of that, I'm trying to help myself out a little bit and go ahead and get a meal plan together and a grocery list and get groceries ordered. So that way, um, that's just one less thing I have to think about with the week that we have ahead. I just thought I would bring y'all along let you see what we're doing for groceries and meals for the week for a family of six with two preteen boys. Um, uh, the ages of my kids right now are all in the even evens. We are 12, 10, 8, and almost 6. So we are definitely eating a lot more and it's summer. They're home all the time. Snacks are happening all the time. They're out outside a lot, which means they're burning more calories and eating more. And it's just, I would love to have those fun summer memories of um, just the things that make you think about summer, like popsicles and watermelons and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to a menu plan. So this is what I use to make my menu plan. It is just a traveler's journal, which is just a little cover with some elastics in it. I have some different notebooks, but then I also have this printout that I got a few years ago from Etsy, and I will link that shop down below. I love it because I can make my menu plan on one side and have my grocery list on the other side. Also, I have my iPad there because I'm using the sales from our local grocery store in order to know what I need to buy exactly and what I need to use to make my menu plan for the week. Now, this is the week of VBS, so it is going to look a little bit different. A lot more quick and easy things like cereal, a picnic lunch, um, and then peanut butter crackers for a snack. We also have a mac and cheese with fruit lunch that's super easy. We just got a Blackstone, and so you'll see quite a few meals there like bagels with eggs and um, some quesadillas and a stir fry written on here as well that we really have loved utilizing that with. I actually did not get to homemade pizza this week, but uh, it is on the docket for next week. I also like to have a frozen fun day, so that is just a whatever you can find, corn dog or whatever day. This week is a buy one, get one for a penny sale at our local grocery store. And for the month of June, while it is all the craziness that's going on, I'm really trying to um, spend and focus on where I'm spending my dollars. Um, this particular store is local to our area. The family actually lives in my town, um, but they have stores all around the area and they have Christian values and so I am really focusing on moving my grocery shopping over here for the majority of the time, especially in the month of June. I do shop here quite a bit, but um, we'll go and fill in with Walmart when needed. However, while it is the month of June, I am trying to not do that and only spend um, our grocery budget on um, the items that are in this store and not use Walmart or Target or anything like that, at least for the time being. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's our menu plan. As I've said, I am definitely not a chef. I am um, not very adventurous in the kitchen or anything special by any stretch of the imagination, but that's how we're kind of just making it work and that's what how we're gonna eat for this week. So um, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe and if you don't wanna miss any upcoming videos that I have coming up for the summer, then um, be sure to hit that notification bell and 
Um, it will let you know anytime I have a new video. Okay, until next time. Bye guys.